Hi guys, we're here at Gameville Ballpark sa Mandaluyong para i-meet ang 90s actor na si Bojo Molina. Marahil, marami po sa inyo ang nagtatanong kung nasa na nga ba si Bojo at ano ba ang kanyang pinagkakaabalahan ngayon? And bakit siya umalis ng showbiz? Mamaya, sasagutin po niya lahat ng ating mga tanong. Pero bago yan, subscribe muna kayo sa aking channel at kay Christine Babaw's channel. Eh hey guys, ini-meet na natin si uh, Bojo Molina. Ito na siya. Bojo! How are you? Magandang umaga. Ilang days ka dito sa Manila? Ah, uh, usually I stay here for about um, five days, six days. Five days? Bus usually it's a business trip. Eh. Ah, okay. I have uh, some uh, business. Well, we could talk about it later. Ah, Yung mga, sige. mga ginagawa natin sa Guam at sa Pilipinas. Um, I've been there for 21 years. Grabe! Ganang, uh, ganang, ganang katagal. Ever since I left in... November of 20, uh, 2002, uh -oh. then I stayed there until, uh, yeah, until I have uh, my own family there. Pero nung umalis ka sa showbiz, nasa peak ka ng ano, ng tire mo? I was still, uh, sabihin na natin na, uh, I'm still in the uh, thick of the fight. Sabihin okay, natin okay, na, okay. Uh, yeah. yan. Uh, Ganun pa rin siya. Oh, um, big, ano, big decision, ha? <laughs> eh, well, you want to leave everything behind. Yeah, I was already... Going, uh, I was already 29 at that time when I left. Oh, so, oh. I think uh, being a person who grew up in Laguna, provinciano naman talaga ako. Eh. Ay, talaga. So, dumating yung punto na kailangan ko na mag-start ng my own family. Oh, oh. So, I think dun, dun ako nag-decide. Kasi nga, um, I entered show business naman, I was already 22. Oh, oh. So, medyo molded oh, oh. na yung, yung, yung personality ko, yung, oh, oh. yung life ko. Oh, oh. So, nung... Oh, oh. No, I enjoy it for uh, seven, uh -huh. uh, I would say seven, seven years, uh -huh. eight years. Uh -huh. But uh, the industry was really, really, uh, really, really, uh, I would say nice and good to me. So, kano na lang yung ginawa ko. Guys, kasama na natin ang isa sa mga heart from no. no 1990s. <laughs> Grabe, no? Long time no see. Ito talaga yung long time no see. Dahil 21 years ago ko pa siya huling nakita. Bojo Molina. Ay, thank you, Julius. And sa lahat ng <laughs> nanonood dito sa Unplugged. Yeah. Thank you so much. Sabi ba akin, Julius? After 23 years, my first interview. So, <laughs> so Julius, take it easy on me. <laughs> ah, kaya, kaya mo yan. Kaya mo kasi sa Guam, very active ka rin. Yeah, 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 medyo, medyo naman. Oh, no? oh. Tell us about uh, no, yung buhay mo ngayon. Oh, well. Kapalahan mo. Well, I'm a family man, of course. I have two kids. My eldest is 21, and uh, my uh, youngest is 16. Both of them are in sports. Kaya sa tama yung background natin dito sa Greenville uh, Ballpark, eh. Kasi both of them are playing sports, especially right now, yung daughter ko nasa volleyball din. Freshman naman siya, high school. So hopefully, she continues it. Then, uh, I've been married for 21 years to my lovely wife, Jen. And she is an educator in Guam. So... Uh, I transferred there in 2002. Um, started with just odd jobs. Kano naman lagi, pag luma, umaalis ka from the Philippines, then you go to a certain place, kahit saan yan, mag ka odd jobs. I started uh, working as a... As a Nag-radio ako, nag, na, nagtrabaho ko sa banko, pharmaceutical distributor, uh, nagtrabaho ko sa theater. So lahat yun. Pero right now, I'm more into media. Uh, handling clients from both the mainland and the Philippines. Uh -huh. And then I also produce events. So, we uh -huh. discuss, we can promote it Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, and then, uh, yeah, um, just enjoying life right now. Alright. Before we talk about your life in Guam, do you want to come back to your own? Oh, yes. Because we always watch it. And then, one day, you're just going to die. You're just going to die in your life. What is the reason why you came to showbiz? Ano yan eh, natutunan ko kay Michael Jordan yan. Uh -huh. eh, you exit when you're still on top. No, I'm just kidding. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> ang uh, reason was, um, okay, balik pa natin uh, further back. When I started in, in the industry, uh, in 1995, modeling yun eh, uh, clothing line, it was a teen brand, pero I was already a college graduate. So I was already 21, 22. Anong course ang kinuha mo? Take na, nasa media ako, di ba? Mechanical Engineering. Mechanical Engineering. Glad with it. Mechanical Engineering. From Coleo de San Juan de Letran, Calamba, Laguna. Okay. Doon ako galing. So nag-start ako doon and then I started modeling. Then after two years, I was discovered by our good friend, si John D. Lasatin. Mm, yes, yes. Nag-guess ako sa game na game na and the Sharon Cuneta show at that time. Hindi ka pa artista doon, ha? Hindi pa. Nagmamodel pa lang ako doon. So doon ako na-discover. 
And then, uh, after, yun nga, after, when that started, eventually, tuloy-tuloy na eh. Tuloy-tuloy na siya. Para siyang, I would say, domino effect, roller coaster ride, riding the wave sa beach, parang ganun. Yeah. Then for seven years, uh -huh. I enjoyed it, uh, had uh, established a, a, a very respectable name, uh -huh. uh, have a lot of tons of friends in the industry, also in and out of the industry. Uh -huh. And then by the time I was 29 years old, I was able to get a not really a fork road, but deciding what's next. Crossroad. A crossroad, talaga yan, you know? What's next? I, I love to travel. I went to uh, I'm going to Japan. I'm going. I, I went to the mainland. Uh, ako. I stayed in New York for a week by myself. Uh, yung 29 ako, I was planning na to, ano, to uh, do a backpack a trip sa, sa Europe, Germany. Pero uh, why? Why? Ano, ano, ano lang? Wala lang. Kasi I'm a typical typical Piscean. Uh, very ano, very in touch sa creative side. And then I go around, look, kumbaga na-inspire ako when I see other stuff. Eh. I bring it with me. So, yun. So, nung, ako naman, nung uh, 1996, 97, I was part naman, ito yun naman yung Guam side, no? I was part naman ng launching project ng TFC, hmm. which celebrating its 30th year already, yeah. right? Uh -huh. So, 1996, uh, kami yung Flames the Movie. Oh, yeah. Diba? Uh, Jolina Magdangal, uh, uh, Claudine Barreto, Marvin Agustin, and the late Rico. Yan. Uh, so, nung inilaunch yung Flames Capade, kami yung nagpunta ng Guam. And I fell in love with an island. Kasi ako naman, laki naman ako kasi sa Laguna. Lago, probinsyano uh, talaga ako. Diba? So, nung nag-start ako doon, uh, nakita ko siya lugar ng 96. Nag-enjoy na ako. I fell in love with the island. So, pabalik-balik ka na doon? Pabalik-balik ako doon. Every time I am stressed, uh, para may burnout sa work, I will ask my handler, give me two weeks. I'll have a rest na. Pero hindi nila alam, alis ako. Punta ng Guam. Punta ako ng Guam. And then, uh, yun nga, nagpunta ako ng New York one time. Sabi ko, there's only two places I want to live. Mm. It's either Guam, ah, no, New York, because my sister lives in New Jersey uh, na, uh, and then Guam, uh, because of the island laid-back feel. Uh, and then in 2002, and then 2000, I, made, uh, I met my future wife. There, where? In Guam. In Guam. By coincidence. Uh, we were invited. Uh, I was invited for a sweet 16th birthday to serenade and escort the celebrant. <laughs> okay. That time, huh? <laughs> and then she was a friend of the brother of the celebrant. Uh, so we met there, uh, and uh, you know, after a year we dated. Then after another year, we because of the distance of uh, the relationship, we just decided that we put on a pause. And then, uh, nung decided na ako, I went there not knowing that she was still there. We saw each other, and after a couple of weeks, we got married. That's it. Wow, galing. <laughs> and the rest is history, no? Yes, and the rest is two kids uh, and a happy life. How old are your kids? Uh, my eldest son, Bryson, uh -huh. he's uh, 21 years old, taking communications in the University of Guam. While my daughter, Jaden, uh -huh. she's a freshman right now, freshman varsity player, volleyball, volleyball, volleyball player. Uh -huh. Uh, the Academy of Our Lady of Grace. Very sporty to mga bata to, no? Uh, na, na try na na, <laughs> na, de, na ano lang natin, na, na, na derail lang natin sila from playing video games. Oo, oh, tama. Kasi, tama. kasi ako naman, hindi ko naman sila dineprive. They oh. have all the console units oh, sa bahay. Oh, oh. Pero through a good friend of mine, uh -huh. which common friend natin, yes. si Coach J, Jay Salvador, oh, si Jay. siya yung nagpasok sa, na, 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 ano, kasi may program sila dati sa Guam, uh -huh. ng uh, Warriors Club, eh, basketball. Uh -huh. So, doon ko pinasok yung anak ko. And then, eventually, they fell in love with uh, organized sports. Then, I thought my son, after my son, I'm done already. And then, my daughter started playing and she has a, a more busier schedule than the brother. Anong ano mo pinaka-last na ano mo rito? Na show mo? Okay. I, if I can remember it right, if my uh, uh, memory serves me right, no? Uh, the last one was... Prior to 2009, 2008, we had a small reunion of the old gimmick cast. Okay. So we had dinner together with the production people. Mm -hmm. Sila Derek Loren andon, sila Judith Bauer was still there. Uh, uh, Lahat ng uh, 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 ano namin, mga, mga executives namin na there. Uh, then the, the cast was still there. Uh, so nagkaroon ng, uh, nagkaroon ng uh, idea na, why don't we bring back these old dogs? <laughs> Kasi i relaunch may i-relaunch sila na bagong batch ng Star Circle at that time which is uh, ano nga yan eh ano mga yan hindi na talent center eh Star Magic oh, at that time oh, Star Magic. So yun yung I think uh, 
ang ang NRS gimmick 2010. So nagtaping ako ng ng a couple of days in Manila in two, 2009 uh-huh. and then na air siya in 2010. Uh, so, nandun ka na sa Guam, no? Nasa Guam na ako. Ayun. Based na ako, pinauwi lang ako. Oh, kasi malapit lang naman eh. Pero before you left for Guam, mm-hmm. ano yung pinaka-last mo na ginawa? Is it uh, gimmick? Yun, no, 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 no. I, still, uh, the, I think the last movie I did was uh, Sus Marios for Fathers. Uh-huh. It's an entry for the Manila Film Festival. Kasama uh-huh. ko si Bobby Andrews. Uh-huh. Uh, it was under Viva Films. Uh-huh. I don't know. It was, uh, I don't know. It's co-produced, I think. But uh, I was freelance na eh. I, I do projects on all networks at that time. I, GMA, uh, ABS, and then I did movies for uh, for Viva already and starting to start cinema. So. Medyo mas mga seryosong movies na ginagawa. Oo, kasi nga, medyo nag, ano na tayo, gumraduate na tayo dun sa Tini Boppers. Hindi naman talaga ako Tini Boppers yung pumasok. 23 na ako nun eh. 23 years old So you're the oldest group? Uh, hindi ko isasabihin na ako, pero may, alam ko may mas matanda sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kaya lang hindi pa sila uma-admit until now. Uh, ano mga story mo noon nung, nung nasa ano ka, nasa peak ka ng ano ng popularity mo? Mm-hmm. Ano yung mga paano yung ginaparamdam ng mga fans yung kanilang oh, yeah. aspirations sa inyo? Ang sabi ko nga uh, when I talk to younger generation of uh, 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 mga popular uh, celebrities right now, uh, or artists, uh, mga nag-uumpisa. Our time was different because we don't have social media. Yes, of course. Talagang kung nakikita kami kung kailangan kami puntahan, uh, iba? If we have a show, mall show sa Mega Mall, mall show kami sa Santa Lucia, mall show kami sa sa Cagayan de Oro, sa Davao, sa Cebu, uh, doon kami nakikita. Uh, and then every time, para wala rin kami sa TV show namin, noon time show, ASAP, uh, uh, tapos nag-aapo rin ako at that time. Uh, so, yun yung difference uh, ng ano. And then yung peak, ano talaga? Uh, ano naman? Masaya. Kas, masaya. And then, hindi uh, katulad din ngayon ng, ng fan base ngayon. Kasi nga, because of social media, may mga stalkers, may mga bashers. Uh, Sa amin, we could be approached naman. Uh, so, yun naman uh, kami. So, so, you don't get affected by yung opinion ng mga tao? Oh, no. Hindi kasi naman. wala. Wala nga social media. Eh. Gen, X, eh. Gen X. Gen X. Gen X. Gen X. <laughs> so, masaya-masaya ng time na yun. Oo. Oh, oh, ano, iba. Iba yung film. I, I'd say, I'm not taking uh, anything uh, away uh, from uh, the, uh, the, the the entertainment industry yes, right now. Yes, but, uh, I would say hindi kami hindi hindi kami yung golden era uh-huh. pero I would say we're in that spectrum uh-huh. ng ano ng entertainment yeah. Uh-huh. Ano yung pinaka favorite mo na show o movie na ginawa mo noon? Na up to now yung pa rin ang ano naaalala mo na talagang ito yung the best for you. I would say it's not a particular movie eh, uh-huh. kasi I love working with people eh. uh-huh. So every single movie that I, I did I paglaban the movie uh-huh. uh, I did gimmick the reunion uh-huh. Uh, gusto ko ng Lumigaya, which I played a closet case suicidal uh, teenager. Uh, I did Four Fathers with a rebellious uh, priest mm-hmm. you know, at that time. And then, yeah, medyo... I, I did a movie with Aga and Regine, which that was fun because uh-huh. I was working with them. My very first movie was Mariana Mison uh-huh. story. Oh, yeah, B.I. Oh, si Tito Eddie Garcia, when I arrived on the set, He was so professional and ready. Na talagang alam mo na talagang from the golden era of mm-hmm. of uh, movie of filmmaking, di ba? Uh-huh. And then uh, pag kinakausap mo siya, as if really you're op- you're turning a page from a book. Uh-huh. Yon, dun dun ako nag-excite yung mga taong nakatrabaho. And I've worked with a lot of directors also, uh-huh. a lot of uh, great directors, great uh, 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 people are, uh, behind the scenes. Sabi nga sa iyo, nung nagpunta ako sa Guam, yung natutunan ko onset, pag-iilaw, angela, kam- nagamit ko lahat. Eh. So, yun ang tinay ko. Yun yun yung importante sa akin. Not a particular project, but every single person. Of course, gimmick would be on top because doon talaga kami hinown as talents. And it was more of a family thing. Eh. Si Derek Loren, Joey was our uh, tatay De- Do- Loren ng data. Ilang years yun? I think... Gimmick started in 96, 97. 96. Then, pumasok ako almost second season eh. Hindi naman ako part ng original cast eh. Then, nag-end siya ng 98. Then, movie came out in later part of 98. So, yun yun. Ano yung roles nyo doon sa gimmick? Uh, ako, pinagawa na ako ng lahat interest. <laughs> ah, sino Nung pasok na yung nung original cast kasi ang uh, sila ni Mylene. Mylene ako, Patrick, Nico, uh, yeah, yeah. di ba? Sila ni Mylene ang nakaano, kumbaga uh, sila yung magkasama lagi sa scene. Yeah. Uh, then pumasok yung Batch 3 kasi sila Diego's Batch 2. Yeah. So, nung pasok nung Batch 3, 
nag uh, I think uh, we were nailagay kami sa isang number sa ASAP yeah, Bakita. Yeah, so, so may mayra pura gat. So pinasok ako. So ako yung naging but initially third wheel ni Marvin and Julina. Yes, ah, Tapos na evolve yung kay Mylin. Ako yon. Don don next start yon. Nag third wheel muna ako. Yeah. Si Brian, you were si Brian. Brian uh, Melanie. Yeah, yeah. No. Okay. So si Jigs. Oh, <laughs> wala nang scene sound ako niya. Si Jigs. Girlfriend niya si Mylin. And then uh, very close friend. Pero pero yung may angulo na merong uh, uh, merong uh, interest tension parang ganun. Uh, pero kasi to ang uh, eventually nagano to eh nag uh, nag nagpare ka doon di ba? Yeah. Oh, nagpare. <laughs> Bait kasi mabait to eh. Nag seminary style. Pero may nilis la yon. Oh, nag missionary ako. Yeah, yeah. Tama, 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 tama. Ako naman uh, I was in the field of medicine kasi me, medi, ano, uh, medical student yeah, yeah. si Mylene was Kaya a nursing student. Nakawait. Correct. Oh, oh. Pero sa movie nung lumabas yung movie naging photographer naman ako. So oh. nag-evolve na rin. Yeah. So yeah. ayun, uh, siya na sa Guam na siya. Uh -huh. Living there in Guam. Yeah. Si Jake is still pursuing. I know. Uh, very proud of my very proud of this brother of mine. Because <laughs> uh, he's continuing the legacy. You know, maganda. Oh. Yeah, 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 you know, our names are the only ones, uh, only things True. that we could bring with us. But our legacy stays here. Okay. So, 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 Nagkatapat kayo ng show? Hindi na. Hindi na. Sa si prime time eh. sila eh. After ah. nun pa rin kami. After uh, ni Saturday growing kami, up growing up na sila. Uh, uh, yun yung ano, yun yung parang uh, nag-evolve to a more mature setup, yung TGIS. Kami naman, hindi nag-mature sa TV. Hindi nag-mature sa TV. Hindi mag-mature sa TV. <laughs> yung stories, pero nag-evolve siya sa movie na. Kasi naging movie muna, naging movie na kami. Uh, Doon kinlose yung story sa movie. Yan. Oh, di ba yung closing ng movie ng gaming, parang may sinabi kayo na dito sa gaming, yung barkada, walang iwanan. Ay, ay, ay. ay. Uh, sino ba pinatatamaan doon? Ah, uh, hindi naman ako nagsabi noon. <laughs> Ako pa yung mga kinabahan. Kasi pinanood namin kasi ng TGIS yung movie. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. sa akin nila Michael. Oh, natatamaan ka oh. <laughs> Parang kami din oh, no? nung lumabas naman ng movie ng TGIS, the whole cast of gimmick, nanood naman kami sa Santa Lucia ah, noon. Oo. Oh, Buo kayo? Buo kami noon. Ah, oh, oh. oh, masarap, masarap kasi yung panahon na yun kasi wala pang social media eh. Oh, so we know for a fact that we're really being followed. Oh. Hindi lang kiniklik clickbait Ay, lang, di ba? Sabi ko nga, pag nagsabay ang show sa Manila, TGIS, Growing Up, Gimmick, magkaibang venue, puno yan pareho. Puno yan pareho. Magaling. At saka ano, very healthy yung, ano, yung, uh, I would, would not say competition eh. Uh, ano eh, kasi magkakakilala din kami, like Bobby's from Cinderella Bobby, also. Yeah. Yeah. One Magka, si One Mig. Yeah. Tapos si, uh, si Bernadette, ako magkabatch. Mm. So, Bernadette Allison, so, Ano talaga? We uh, are... May connection. May connection. Si Rika. Oh, si Rika. Yeah, diba? Oh. Kami. Oh. Marami. Ang dami pa ng mga artista ron. Oh, oh, kami. Oh, oh, oh. Alos lahat. Alos lahat. We made the name for uh, a good a, a good chunk of that time. We we made a good name for ourselves. Every, everything from gimmick to DJIS, each person may kanya-kanyang identity. Eh. Correct. In different fields man. Yeah. Na, pero everyone almost succeeded. Yeah. Malaking tulong ang gimmick. Correct. In forming that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ang sabi ko nga, uh, kausap ko si Bernadette Allison kagabi. Ang ang game, ang TGIS, ang setup noon is I got it from Rick, ano nag-uusap yeah. na Rick for. Is magkakaibigan talaga, barkada. Yeah. Gimmick uh, TGIS barkada, no. Ang gimmick naman because of Derek Loren. Yes. Yeah. Para naman family kasi Tatay Loren 'yon. Tatay Loren. So kami nila uh, uh, si, si your cousin Rico, Rico. si uh, si Diet, si Marvin, si Julina, si Mylene, si G. Dominic. Yeah, Dominic. Oh. And then nag-trickle down na doon sa mga bata, sila John Lloyd, sila Kay, which nag-transpose nag na siya to Tabing Ilog. Tabing Ilog. Na, sila, na, ano. oh, wala na kayo doon sa Tabing Ilog. Oh, si Maylene nag-Tabing Ilog pa, tsaka si Dominic ata. Ako wala na ako noon. The younger ones. The yeah. younger ones. Saka na pumunta noon? Hindi pa. Hindi. I, I, I was still here. Because ah, I left 2002. Eh. Oh, nag-movie ka pa eh. Uh, oh, the oh, uh, forefathers. Oh, Marami pa ako kasi nag ano venture out na ako sa yeah, different uh, uh, ano. Naging ano na ako, naging uh, non-exclusive uh, uh, talent na I could work yeah. the different channels and different uh, ano. Uh, uh, yeah. So bigla na lang wala, di ba? Hindi lang yeah. paalam. Hindi paalam. Uh, okay. Sabi ko, bye. 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 Ano mo na? Explain mo na ano kapag kaya wala. Hindi, 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 hindi ko na explain mo. Hindi mo na explain. Hanggang babay na lang 'yan. Hindi explain mo kayo kapag wala. Thank you. Okay. Okay, ano? Saan ka mapapanood ngayon? Okay, guys. Uh, watch uh, one uh, brunch on One News, 10 to 11, Monday to Friday. Kasama ko ang akin na may bahay na si yeah. Angel. Ang sarap naman nun. Magkatrabaho, eh, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> I work with the boss. Oh. <laughs>
it's cheaper. Hindi <laughs> 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 po kami nagko-compete kay Julius and Tintin. Wala ako. Meril ako. Kami ni Papo nakaka-relate working with the boss. Yes. Kaya nakong monitor mo ng boss. Yes. Ayan. So, please watch us 10 to 11 uh, Monday to Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Ano may mga naging kaibigan mo sa show is? Uh, I, ako naman, I kept friends, pero the closest that I got, like real brothers, uh, if you can remember this, if <laughs> the very first boy band on Philippine television, okay. which is Voice Unlimited. Sa Apo kami nun. We okay, have a segment okay, okay. every Saturday. Uh, it is me. It was me, uh, Nino Alejandro, oh, si Nino. Jeffrey Hidalgo, uh, Steven Alonso, uh, and then uh, Chole Escano. There's five of us, actually. Ah, Six. Ano? Oh, si Mike Luis. Yeah, I still oh. sing. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. In Guam, like, perform ka pa rin doon? Ah, uh, nung early parts. Kasi uh, minsan na-invite ka sa parties to host, then uh, mag-entertain ka. Uh, pero latter part na hindi na. Sobrang ano, no? Sobrang dami mo palang pwedeng gawin. Nung, nung time na At, nasa showbiz ka pa. I would say before the, multi the multimedia oh. setup, <laughs> I can do those things already. <laughs> you can act, you can sing. Pero when you decided to leave everything behind, ano yung mga pinagdaanan mo? Ano yung mga naglaro sa isip mo? Hindi mo ba, hindi ba para na mamimiss yung, ano, yung, yung klaseng buhay sa Pilipinas? Friends. Ah, friends. Kaibigan. Uh, kap, ay, mga pamilya. Yan. Uh -huh. uh, mga tao na nakakatrabaho mo. Which you miss. The craft I miss. Uh -huh. But the other trimmings outside show business, uh -huh. hindi na. Hindi ko na na-miss uh -huh. yan. Pero I never really cut ties with the industry. Uh, every time there is, uh, there are visitors, uh, actors and actresses or performers from Philippines, uh, I tend to reach out. I tend to meet them. Kasi nasa, basically, nasa radio ako, mapapromote sila, tatandaan sila sa akin. Uh, at that time. So, ganun, uh, radio anchor ka? Uh, nag, uh, nag, ano, ako, nag radio na for about three years. Uh, nag, ano, nag radio ako. Local, t, uh, local Filipino. Oh, which nice is Mega Mix 101.9 FM. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, pero nung time na aalis ka na ng Pilipinas, Going to Guam, start a new life. Ano mo pinag-isipan niya? I didn't. Wala. Sa, I, bought, ka na. I bought my ticket Saturday morning. I left Saturday night. Nobody knew that I was leaving. Wow. Yeah. Because you've been contemplating about doing it now. Uh, because na I am preparing myself for the next chapter in my life. Because I grew up in Laguna. Uh, uh, From uh, age na zero to 21. Uh, uh, elementary, high school, college, I stayed in Laguna. Uh, my family's there, my mom, my dad, my siblings were there. And then, uh, age 22 hanggang 29, ito yung showbiz. Uh -huh. So sabi ko, what's next? Eh ako, ganun ako, naka-plan ako after. I, I need to see myself. I need to see myself in a, uh, and I would say, if, if, if I was to stay for the next four, ano na, yun na yun ako talaga. And I, hindi naman sa, I didn't see myself in the industry that long. Ano lang talaga, parang, parang, there was a time na hindi para sa akin. Pero I love the industry. I owe a lot to the industry. I would not be sitting down here talking to you if not for the industry. Uh, showbiz industry. I love, I love the, the reporters, every single person that I work with. But, uh, you know, it's, it's your, uh, it's, yun yun, it, they're, they're, they're calling. Yeah, it is, Ako na, nag back to zero ako eh. Oh. In Guam, back to oh, zero ako. Eh. I started working oh, oh. kasi, uh, again, on different uh, different jobs. Oo oh, nga eh. Uh, but I I never uh, got discouraged because one, I was already myself before I entered show business. And then my the, the, the teachings of my my fa my parents, the training that I have from them oh. is you don't just go to a certain place just to stay there. Okay. If you need to, to grow and to move on, you need to do that for your... Para sa sarili mo. Nung mag-start ka pa lang, ano yung pinakamahirap na trabaho pinasok mo? Yung pinaka parang feeling mo, deserve ko ba ito? Ano ko ginagawa ito? Imbis na sa Manila, ano ko, uh, lahat na ako. Lahat access, no? di ba? Pero dito, ganito trabaho ko. Ano yun? Hindi ko naramdaman, Julius. Eh. Hindi talaga. Hindi, kasi after that, after nine months, I have my boy. Eh. So, iba na yung priority ko. Wala na yung hirap. Eh. Kasi uh, I need to make sure that I, I'm gonna have this boy live a comfortable life. So, wala na yung kahit magwalis ka dyan. Ako, there was a time, naglinis ako ng banyo. 
Kasi, kasi I work for a theater and may nagkaroon ng uh, some ano, accident. Ano, ano trabaho sa theater? Uh, I was the marketing director for uh, for the local uh, movie theater on Guam. And uh, yeah, there was one time may field trip puro bata, nagkaroon ng aksidente sa banyo. Eh, yung ibang staff may tinatrabaho, of course nasa office ako. Eh, dala ko ng map. Linis. Naka leather shoes, naka slacks. Map ka kasi aksidente, hindi pwedeng hindi linisin kasi madumi. <laughs> Ganun. Guam is a part of the US. You where are US territory? Yeah, US territory. Mm. Pero nung time na nagsisimula ka pa namin, mga nakakilala sa isang Guam. Ano naman? Oo. Oh, oh. uh, Parang para, para nagigreaction nila kung nakikita ko. Well, nung una, hindi sila makapaniwala na I'm staying on Guam. Uh -huh. Tapos, uh, there was ano, na time na pag nasa food court ka, kumakain ka, may papapicture pa rin. Uh -huh. Pero eventually, nag-fade na yan. As years goes by. Ngayon, isa uh -huh. na, no, ano na ako, fixture na ako dun. Eh. <laughs> I was just there. Local ka na local, local na ako. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sabi nga nila, if you experience two super, uh, one super typhoon uh -huh. on Guam, Local ka na. Ay, nakadalwa na ako. So, <laughs> doon ako talaga nakatira. Yeah. <laughs> Pero pag babalik ka ng Pilipinas, like ngayon, nandito ka sa Pilipinas, mm -hmm. may mga nakakilala pa rin sa'yo? Uh, funny story. Ah, okay. May mga, <laughs> siyempre, I'm the uh, handling business. May, inter, uh, may mga kamiting. Uh, so, yung mga staff nila, younger, sa so kamiting ko, uh, sasabihin nila, uh, hindi ko naman sasabihin ako si Bojo Molina, ganyan. Uh, kasi, hindi ko naman nag-iugali kasi. Uh, Tapos mamaya mo, Magbe-break yung meeting, babalik. Kilala ka ng mami ka o tsaka ng tita ko. Nandun na ako. Sa mami tita. Nandun din ako. Pareho na. So ngayon, nakakapaglakad ako sa mall uh, freely. Right uh, now, uh, uh, wala naman nakakapaglakad. Misan, paminsan-minsan meron. Uh, uh, Pero pag may nakakakilala, yan. Uh, uh, Nakakatuwa pa rin, di ba? Oo naman. Minsan, minsan, oh, diba? Pero kasi uh, nandun na tayo sa point of our careers na uh, we don't need that much attention eh. Uh, di ba? Uh, may mga kilala, mga co-recognize, okay lang. Pero yung, uh, ano na, na-build na natin yon in the years. Kaya very ironic, di ba? Uh, nung nag-artista ko, yung first two, three years mo, you will try your very best to be known. Appear ka sa TV show, radio program, uh, TV, uh, punta ka ng mall shows, everything. After that, pag kilalang kilala ka na, maglalakad ka sa mall, Naka-cup ka, naka-shades ka, uh, naka-headphones ka para hindi ka makilala. Uh, so, very ironic. Yes. Tinry mo maging kilala, tapos after a couple of years, magtatago ka naman bigla. Uh, so, what's yeah. the point? Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Pero ganun talaga. It's uh, like that. Uh, yeah. uh, so, now you're working as what? Ano, anong business mo ngayon? Mm, I work for... Eh, I have my own uh, advertising, small advertising, uh, kumbaga gig, ganun. But I work also with a lot of uh, people on Guam in terms of production. I have, uh, right now, uh, since 2021, we built three Blind My Studios and I'm working with, uh, shout out to sa mga partners ko, si Gary Incarnacion, aka DJ Cure uh, of Mega Mix 101.9, si um, Duke Urbano, which is the nephew of the late June Urbano, Mr. Shuli. Yes, yeah. yes. And then si Robert Adrian, he's a 30-year-old Gen, uh, gen uh, millennial na talagang I, I, I admire the young people right now on their talents and visual uh, detail nila sa mga videos and everything. So, I work with those guys and then I also have, uh, yun nga, sa advertising, I handle clients from the Philippines um, and then um, may mga production I'm bringing in uh, Hindi ko pa pwedeng sabihin eh, pero nag, nag ano na kami, nag-agree na kami na we're being in this very big uh, tattoo convention from the Philippines uh, by November of 2024 sa Guam. So, so yung company mo ang nag-handle ng mga events? Yes. one of their events here. It's a, a car show slash like a, a gathering. It's a Nissan. It's a Nissan event here. So you can see we, we have our own stuff here. Some good cars here. Displayed. Uh, yeah. These are things that are happening on Guam. See you there.
Ano pag biglang may ano kay kumontak sa iyo at gusto ka ring kunin sa teleserye o kaya sa isang movie sa Pilipinas open ka sa ganun? Well, it, it happened naman eh, uh -huh. before uh, pag nakita especially uh, they still have my contacts on social media. Uh -huh. Mag-reach out sa akin yung mga casting direct uh, casting managers or casting directors. Pwede ka ba? Sabi ko, Sabi ko okay, pwede naman, walang problema. Uh -huh. uh, Gano'ng katagal yan? You need to stay here for two to three months. Sabi ko, hindi ako pwede. Two to three weeks lang. Two weeks ako, Max. Two weeks. Two weeks, Max. Uh, uh, pwede yun. And then, that's a, that's a vacation for me already. Uh, so, parang mas bagay ka sa pelikula siguro. More than mga teleseries. Mm -hmm. na yeah, 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 yeah. Diba, mga shoot. Mm -hmm. Pero I, I, I never close my doors uh, on that uh, thing. It's just that, yun nga lang, may mga, there are certain uh, things that you need to prioritize. Uh, uh, and then, may mga commitments ka rin na hindi mo pwedeng iwanan basta-basta. And me, uh, I, I promised myself when I was, uh, uh, when, when, when I will have a kid, or magkakaanak ako, gusto ko nakatutok ako. Hands on ako. Hands on. Gano'n ka talaga nag-travel sa Pilipinas? After the pandemic, when uh, it opens, almost every month or every other month. Every month na dito? Yeah. Why? Ano, Pero, ano meron sa Pilipinas? Hindi, kasi there's uh, a lot of relationships that I'm building again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Halimbawa, um, uh -huh. um, We're planning to do a volleyball tournament this coming June ah. for the school ng daughter ko. Uh -huh. uh, it's on high schools. So we're, I think we're, we're, we're gonna try this facility. Uh -huh. Kasi pumasok ako dito, ang ganda nitong lugar na to, yung Gameville uh, Ballpark. Sabi ko, kompleto na dito. So, a shout out sa owners. Baka, baka naman pwede kami dito. Approve na raw. And then, then uh, we're, uh, yeah, yun, ayun, then, uh, Yun nga, if I can mention some brands, oh, okay go, lang. Go ahead, um, go ahead. I opened up the uh, the satellite office of SMDC mm -hmm. on Guam. I handled that. Ah, okay. And then okay. also I handled the media uh, media business of uh, the medical city because they have a referral office in Guam. Uh -huh. So okay, nagahandel ng media nila, media buys, uh -huh. commercials, interviews. Uh -huh. So dan dan dan. Like last last year we did a commercial, my family, uh -huh. and uh, we did a commercial for ano for uh, medical city. Yeah. So, pag may mga project na pwede rin sa Pilipinas, pwede mo dalhin doon oh, sa... Oh, ano, kasi sa I, I, uh, in 2008, we were the very first com uh, production uh, outfit that was allowed by ASAP uh -huh. in 2008. Yung pinakauna nilang international setup. Uh -huh. Sa Guam yun, 2008. I was involved in that. Thing. Thank you to Mr. Johnny Manakan uh -huh. uh, and then si Tita Mariol and the late Deo Indrinal. Uh -huh. Uh, na inalaw kami mag, uh, mag mount there. So, there were 33 artists, 80 people entourage. Ang sakit sa ulo, pero masaya. Ang, 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 ano nun, ang very fulfilling sa akin is Mr. M asked me to open the show. So, after opening the show on stage, welcome everyone. I enjoyed this three-hour spectacle of uh, dance and, and performances. And welcome as of 2008. So, nasakita ako ng na stage, naglalakad ako pabalik while the artists are passing me on the side. It was more of a, it was more of a full circle on my end. Because at that time, that time, nandun ako sa stage, magperform. Oh, isa kado sa mga ano? Oh, so ngayon ako naman yung producer. And believe it or not, after I did that, I went to a room. I cried, say, full feeling. Mo marik lahat ng mga memories. And a lot of things have happened, di ba sa yeah yeah sa bansa natin, sa ABS CBN, we lost the Deo. And uh, we lost a lot of artists. Yes. And we lost, you know, our franchise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ano nag reaction mo nung ano? Nawala ang ABS? Ang concern ko is... Uh, uh, ang concern... The, the artists will survive, eh. Uh, kasi, ano yan, eh. We're the end product, eh. I'm worried about yung mga taong nagtatrabaho behind that supporting their families na nagpapaaral, nagsusuporta ng magulang na all of a sudden, wala silang trabaho. And it was, the entire island has it. Diba? The entire archipelago of the Philippines. Kasi ang reach talaga is very wide. So, ang naging, ang, ang, ang unang reaction ko is, why did it happen? Kasi ang dami apektado. Hindi lang yung immediate employee. The families underneath yeah. those individual employees. So, if, Sinabi lang, how many was unemployed? 11,000. Oh, 11,000 times 3. So, there are 33,000 people affected. Yeah. Or more. Saka, no? Pati livelihood ng mga nasa paligid. Correct. Oh, nag-shutdown lahat yung ano. Ah, yeah, yeah. Diba? Yung, yung pa, diba? And more, diba? Ano, ano lifestyle sa Guam? Anong, anong buhay ng mga tao ron? Especially ng mga Pilipino. Laid back. Laid back. Very laid back. Uh, 
uh, pag masipag ka, you'll be very good there. Pag uh, pag medyo tatamad-tamad ka naman, uh, there's a uh, there's the support of the government, local government to the people. But uh, ano, nakaka ano, nakakabata. Hindi ka batatang kasi walang tra- walang traffic eh. Walang traffic, walang traffic. No traffic. Walang traffic, yeah. What about the pollution wala kasi island kami. Oh. Uh, Ay, ano, yung mga uh, expenses. Uh, we're not as yung uh, uh, cost of living uh-huh. is not as high as Hawaii. Okay. Uh, walang sales tax. Uh-huh. So alimbawa, uh, bili ka ng glasses mo. Uh-huh. Kung kung ano yung presyo niyan on on the rack, yun ang babayaran mo uh-huh. sa parang Texas. Uh-huh. Walang state tax. So ano lang talaga, very very uh, I would say ang Guam is 10 years behind Philippines, something like that. Behind Philippines? Parang, parang ganun lang. On, on, on setup oh. of lifestyle. Lifestyle, oh. Pero yung accessibility, kasi ngayon naman, lahat napapanood mo na. Yeah. Lahat nabibili mo na online. So, oh. wala nang boundaries talaga. Oh. Pero sabihin mo on, uh, on uh, things that we have here. Grabe dito. Oh. Masaya dito. Oh. Uh, may mga ano doon? Showbiz personalities doon na, doon na rin nakatira aside from you? Nung dumating ako doon, nandun si Luigi Alvarez. Oh. Brother ni Gio. Okay. Oo. Uh-huh. Then, I think ako, si Raven Villanueva was staying there for a while also. Right now, Jay Martin is there. Ah, uh, si Jay Martin. Uh. Who else? Uh, uh, Valerie Concepcion got, got married to a local uh, uh, guy there. So, yun na yan. Yun na yan. Showbiz industry na. Oh. Yeah. Life lessons. Anong natutunan mo sa, ano, sa iyong buhay? Sa showbiz now living in Guam, ano mga Nat- nag-aara- natututo, natututo pa rin ako until now. Eh. Ah, still learning. Ano, ano, yeah. Realization uh, for me is keeping people close to you. Yung mga nakatrabaho, kahit sino yan. Kahit sinong nakatrabaho mo, may it be they're, they're, nakatrabaho mo siya, they're doing something na hindi mo gusto. Just let it be. Keep, yung importante is your connection to people. Eh. Ayun sa akin, ever since. And I've learned that from my dad also. My dad uh, uh, is a politician before sa Laguna. My real last name is Punong Bayan. Uh, Ubal. Are you related to the, no? to the Feedbox? Feedbox? Nung time na yon kinlame namin kasi sikat eh. <laughs> so, yun, yun, yun. Pero uh, we were, uh, yun nga, lumaki ako sa, sa Kabuyao, Laguna. Kabuyao. My dad was a consular for, I think, 20, 20 years. Uh, uh, and I passed to the EDSA Revolution also. Pero, uh, Yun nga, ang sa akin, life lessons, value friendship, value family, spend time, take care of your health, and do not give up on your kids. Especially right now. Uh, I remember talking to my mom and uh, uh, we were discussing about communication gap. Actually, hindi yun ng gap eh. Kasi yung parents nowadays, yun yung ayaw nila nung pet. Kaya, kaya yung, per- yung mga bata, yun ang tinuturo nila ngayon eh. Yung ayaw nung mga parents noon sa parents sila. So, ito, hindi mag-connect ngayon. So, you need to bridge that gap. What about uh, I mean, people undergoing parang a dilemma or in the crossroads of life mm-hmm. or in the crossroads of a career? Anong payo pwede mo ibigay sa pati? You cannot do it alone. You need to talk to people. That's the reason why. Kasi pag tinanal vision mo na ikaw lang, there's only two things that would happen. Tama yung decision mo, or you're mapapasama ka or something. So, getting uh, comments from people, especially the people, yun nga, yung hard love, yung tough love, is the one who cares for you. So, kung sinasabi na ayaw nila to para sa'yo, hindi ibig sabihin na ayaw talaga nila. It's because they, 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 they pass through that stage already. And uh, parang, Makinig ka lang. Yun nga, especially sa mga youth right now. Learn how to listen. Because your parents and your the elders are listening to you right now. Because most of the time, we're adjusting na eh. Dati before, di ba? Noon tayo, saan kayo papasok? O sabi ng tatay ko, dyan sa school na yan, dyan sa college eh. Ngayon, pakikinggan mo yung mga bata. They want to go here, they want to go Ibaray, there. No? Yeah. Anong course? Nursing! Mga Pinoy eh. Nursing ka! Ay ngayon, hindi. Gusto ko maging... Uh, Social uh, IT. media. IT. IT. Social uh, media person. Uh, eh, wala naman tayong ganyan nun ah. So, <laughs> wala ka na magagawa. Wala ka na magagawa. Pero you have, you have uh, to. The youth right now has to listen because, uh, to, to, to the elders. Uh, because they've went through something already. 
but it doesn't mean that it's always right. Uh -huh. You could uh -huh. always contest. Uh -huh. But having a conversation, learning from each other, we learn from each other. Yun lang yung mapapayo. So, sometimes it's okay to make mistakes, di ba? Oh, yeah. Kaya nga tayo natututo eh. Correct. So if you and, chose this path, nagkamali tayo, you know where you go back to where we started. And the best time to make mistakes, uh -huh. when you're still staying with your parents. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tama. Diba? Pag ikaw na, bahala ka na sa buhay mo. Diba? Yun yun. You just learn it from... The, because we, as parents, made our mistakes already. Uh, Baka may gusto ka i-shout out before we go? Uh, okay. So, family, of course, uh, to my loving wife, Jen. Um, thank you for all the the trust and the, 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 the... I would say all the love that you've uh, given me. To my two kids, uh, Jaden and Bryson. Uh, just continue pursuing what you want. Uh, yung nanay ko, she's 84, mag-85 na siya this year. Nay, wag matigas ang ulo. <laughs> then my sister, si Alma and Roma also. And then my entire uh, friends in Guam, also in the Philippines, shout out sa lahat. Uh, you, kilala nyo na yung mga sarili nyo, but nabanggit ko kanina yung three blind mice. And then, uh, who else? Ngayon lang kasi ko na-interview ulit, eh, di ba? <laughs> Ano nga ba yung ano, morning show natin dati? Ah, oh, yun ron. Ano si Kuymedia? Ayan. Dati kasi may shout-out. Minsan nakakalimutan mo uh, lahat. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, I know, one of the most important person in my life na talagang hindi ko nakakalimutan. And, I owe it to him na kung nasan ako is John D. Lasatin. John, if not for John D. Uh, crossing path during that game na game na TV show, and the Sharon Conetta show, which he was a writer, I won't be here. So, I, I can never say, uh, I can never, kumbaga, say, thank you enough to him. And, so. and then, uh, the, the entire family, and then friends also. Julius, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. And so, to Tintin, hi. Ang sarap nito na. Ito yung namimiss ko. Pwede tinanong mo, kung ano yung namimiss ko, ito yung namimiss ko. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Kahit, kahit wala akong pampera, Pamasahe ko, hingin ko pa sa asawa ko. Pero hindi ako nahihiya. Hindi ko pinakahiya yung pinagdaanan ko na nawalan ako ng savings, nawalan ako ng friends, nawalan ako. Lahat naman ng mga nawala, binabalik ni God ngayon. Importante, buo yung family ko ngayon. Parang doon ko nasubukan na iba pala talagang pamilya. So, how? Siyempre, God. How did your kids um, take it nung nawalan sila ng little sister? Tapos nakikita nila how affected you were. Although sabi mo kanina, uh, you put up a strong front mo. Tapos pag wala na sila, tsaka ka na lang umiiyak. Mm -hmm. So they never knew what you were really going through? Minsan, nanguhuli nila ako when I hug the... the what do you call that? Yung... Julius and Tintin, para sa pamilyang Pilipino, would like to thank the following. Pure Gold, sa Pure Gold, always panalo. David Salon, whoever you are, whatever you do, David Salon brings out the best in you. Raja Travel Corporation, with you on your journey. Baby Co. Wipes, bida si baby sa alagang Baby Co. Wipes. Cupid's Cologne, Love Mist. To order, message TonyBBabao at gmail.com. Enagic from Japan, Kangen Water Machine. Goldmine Rice, from farm to market, 